Today, this is going to have a new owner after today. So every rep counts. Every rep counts. Revealing the belt soon? Yes, sir. Yeah, all of you, all of you could go a little bit further. But you, that's not like you're not doing a good job. You're doing a good job. But to be special, you have to push yourself and things gotta hurt a little bit. So be tough, be tough. Everybody, this is Jay Billis of ESPN. We are here at Duke's Media Day, something they do annually to have all the media outlets come in, interview the players, and we come here every year to get content that we'll use throughout the season, player profile information, sit-down interviews, uh, what they call walk and talks, and it's just a way to get the players' personalities out there. This is really, I'm glad you guys are getting this because this is the glamorous part of, of the business. Check, check. Just gonna read them to you, but just make sure you're always looking at the camera when you're answering. So you can add a little bit. Then, you know, just, just be yourself, it's easy. got done doing some stuff with ESPN, uh, small little interview, it was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, Jay Buss is actually a really funny guy. After practice today, we'll have a little bit of media come in, take pictures, and do interviews, and um, I'm actually really looking forward to it. Hey Duke Blue Planet, I'm Mike DeGeorge. I handle our media communications for Duke men's basketball. Uh, basically, I'm our liaison between the national and local media and our players and coaches. On a day like today, we've got a lot of media here, so it'll be up to myself and uh, Josh Foster from our office to keep the players on schedule, keep them in line, and uh, keep everything flowing smoothly so the media can get what they need and preview the Blue Devils for the 2018-19 season. I like our team that's developing. They're hardworking. We have good, really good chemistry. Really pleased with the work ethic. My new staff, how they've, you know, with Sewell and then the dynamic of how the guys have gotten together. This summer helped us, you know, being in Canada. We were able to get to know one another well. So I feel good about our, our group, you know, really good about our group. I like the chemistry of the, of the kids. The upperclassmen have all gotten better and uh, the freshmen are really good. We have a chance to be a very good basketball team. 
mean, Coach K, I consider him the greatest coach of all time, and if I can have him break down my game and tell me what I need to work on, then I think I can become a whole new player. I mean, it's what you come to do for it, to play with the, the best players. And so I've learned a lot from these guys just uh, – from a point of just mindset. I mean, they come in ready to work every day, and uh, that's that's rare to see at a young age. There's something about you know having chemistry with someone off the court that makes on the court so much more easy. This is probably one of the closest teams of like everybody on the team. Just loving to hang out with each other, just spending time on the court, off the court, having a great time. But if you help guys work as a unit, then everything's going to look a lot better, and everyone looks good. Now, you know, entering my junior year, I definitely feel like I've become a lot more of a leader. Um, and really trying to help these younger guys, you know, get off to speed with everything that's happening, on, happening here. And we all gel together from day one, always hanging out with each other. Everything, everything's all cool. There's a bunch of hype going around right now, a bunch of talk going around us. But I mean, we, we try not to pay attention to that. We're, we're just trying to focus on getting better every single day, knowing that we're, we're trying to win a national championship. All right, that's your boy Cam here. And Mike. Media day is a wrap. We really enjoyed it. Hashtag Cam Fam out. What's going on? Bro. Oh, 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 oh my god. Bro, what? <laughs> bro, that's tough. Bro, that's crazy. And hey, you got the earrings in? Right. Bro, the blue background, whoever did all that, that's tough. That caught me so off guard. Yo, peep this. So Jason Tatum was just on the cover, right? And your name was right there. <laughs> Now you're on the cover and he's right there. It's a Duke family right there, bro. That's tough. Now, I told you, bro, when you see yourself on the cover, bro, it's, it's different, bro. Think of it like this. All the, all the kids they could have picked chose you, bro. They blew it up. It's up. Mama made it. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel That's like awesome. you, Z. I remember seeing yours. I don't know what to say. Uh, I'm in shock right now. I did not. I definitely did not expect to you know, come in here and see this. Uh, honored to be on the cover of Slam Magazine. Um, I like my the way my head's like in front where like the like A's earrings. Be. Yeah. What do you think about it, Z? It's amazing. Shout out to Slam. Uh, shout out to Duke Blue Planet. Today is Children's Hospital Day. It's a great day for Duke basketball as we invite families and children from, the, from Duke Children's Hospital to come and watch us practice. And after practice, the best treat for our players is they get to mingle and have fun with the children from the hospital. They do a great job with it. It's always been a, a great day here at Duke Basketball. RJ Barrett, that's RJ Barrett, that's RJ Barrett, and you're watching Duke Blue Planet.